FuelTech Pro Modified, presented by Type A Motorsports. Big shout out to the folks at FuelTech for jumping on board with the Pro Mod class this year. FuelTech has the perfect solution for your project. Changing the game, transforming traditional EFI systems into complete vehicle controls, fuel injection, dashboard, data logger, boost control, nitrous, traction, wheelie control, staging control, safety, et cetera, et cetera. And those are just a few of the things FuelTech can touch on. Get ready to consolidate the electronics in your car and make the switch to FuelTech today. Learn more about FuelTech. They have to offer about this FuelTech.net. Promod, first quad, and it is our marquee matchup. The reigning world champion and defending event winner. The folks at Bahrain one and lane number one. That is Chris Thorne. Jamie Miller, two, Pro Charge Machine. Callan Albalushi in lane number two. And the Screw Charge, Mark Savage, two, Bahrain one machine. Manny Bajinga in lane three in the car that used to be owned and driven by King Tut, Todd Tuttero. That's a roots blower car. Same for J.R. Gray in lane four in the Mike Janus tune, Mike Janus Superchargers, Gray Contracting Special. When we last saw these cars in Gainesville, Manny Bujinga and Chris Thorne had a two and a half minute staging duel. I do not believe Khaled Albalushi or J.R. Gray are going to stand for that, but this morning, in pre-race in our marquee matchup, Manny said, watch this, and Manny double-balled him. Oh, wait, now he backed out. What was that? Can he do that? Was it somebody's foot? I don't think that's possible. Now there's confusion. Manny's still blinking both poles. What in the world is going on? Khaled Belushi is in. Manny is in. Wow, right now. That was about off the go. First car off the line. J.R. Gray, first one to the finish line, Chris Thorne. And it'll be Thorne and Gray advancing, 571.8 for the reigning world champion who was off the line third with an 021 reaction time. 576.6 for J.R. with an 015 light, he left first. Manny was 017, leaving second, goes 580 with a two, 247. Khaled Al Belushi may be equally confused by whatever was happening in Manny's lane over there, has a reaction time that starts with a two and was off the throttle by the time we got to 330 feet. So it'll be Chris Thorne and J.R. Gray, lanes one and four advancing. And I have no idea what was going on in lane number three. Alan? I would bet the house the nose of that car was low. I don't believe he was in with the tires. I think he was blinking the bulb with the nose of the car. Can't see from the angle where we are, but if we've got a shot at it again, it looked to me like the car rolled forward about a foot before he ever staged. The nose of the car, by rule, has to be at least three inches high. If it's low, he could have had the nose blinking the bulbs before the tires got there. That's what I think it was. 